Okay, so let's begin our look at all the rhythm guitar parts in Thunderstruck by taking a look at this hybrid picking part which starts the song. Now there's a lot of rhythm parts in this song, a lot of different verse riffs and stuff, so we're going to kind of go through it systematically. And the hardest to play of all of them is probably this opening one. If you listen closely to the record, underneath the, uh, the very first uh, verse, we have this little hybrid clean guitar part, hybrid picking thing going. And it sounds like this. Okay, uh, so that's going underneath while Angus is still doing his little lead lines. So what we're doing there is we just have a uh, B power chord going on in the left hand. Um, and then we're going to be picking, the hybrid picking is going to be every single time you pick the fifth string, it's going to be with your pick. And then your middle finger and your ring finger are going to take the D and the G strings of that uh, B power chord. So it's always only go, all, either going to be picking these two at the same time, the two finger picking, or the pick. And you're going to rotate back and forth between those. So let's take a look at the pattern. You may want to write this pattern down because it's a little bit involved, but then it just repeats. And as soon as you get the, the, the groove, the feel of it, uh, it's, it's pretty simple. We're going to start the pattern with picking the D and the G together, then the fifth string, then back to the D and the G and then pick the D and the G one more time. So we have this so far. Then we're going to go pick the fifth string and then back to the D and the G. So, so far we have. Okay, after that we're going to pick the D and the G again, then down to the fifth string. All together. And we're going to end the pattern by going, picking the two D and the G string down to the fifth string, and then do that again. So you just doubled it. So all together. So I did it twice there. You can see as soon as I do the, where I'm doubling it, the next hit is starting the pattern over. Starting over. Now you see how I'm lifting up the fingers in the left hand every, after, every time I pick one? That gives it that kind of staccato feel and the muted sound that's on the recording. All right, so over that riff, we hear the big heavy guitar riff come in that sounds like this. Now, that's three guitars going on there. One's going to do that big riff, one's doing the hybrid picking thing, and then Angus is still doing his little lead line. So we have the B power chord. Now, these are three power chords we're going to be using 95% through this song. We have the B power chord, then the open A power chord, the open A string, and the second fret on the um, D string, and then the low E power chord, which is going to be the open six string, with the fifth, fr uh, fifth string second fret. So we have this. We go from the A to the E pretty quickly. And then back to the A, hit it twice. And then down to the low E. So all together. All right. So after that riff, he just goes back that big guitar part basically just goes to holding, picking and holding a B power chord a few times over this uh, or under the little hyper picking part that's still continuing to go on, all right? So that's what you'll hear there. You'll just hear just hitting that chord while the second round of the verse goes through. Now it goes to the pre-chorus, and that pre-chorus is going to sound like this. So that's using the same three chords. We're going to start with the B to the A to the E. All right. Now we're going to repeat, repeat that over and over again. But when we go back to repeat it each time, we're going to grab this open A power chord right before we start those three chords again. So it goes like this. 
B, A, E. So we're gonna grab this A real quick. A, B, A, E. A, B, A, E. All right? Now that's pretty much the rhythm. So most of these things are, are pretty simple to play. And now we get to the chorus. The chorus is a little bit bigger sounding and usually uh, both guitar parts players would play it. And it sounds like this. So we have the same three chords, just played a little bit different amount of times. And we have the B to the A. Then you can hit the A again and then go down to the E chord. Then come back to the A. Now when you come back to the A, you should probably bring your thumb over from, with your, in your fretting hand and just mute that low 6 string because it'll, it'll still ring out when you go back to the A otherwise. Or you can maybe mute with your thumb down in your, your picking hand. Uh, the base of your thumb or something, whatever feels the most comfortable. So we have this, and it goes back down to the E, ends it with the E. So all together, back to the A and the E, and just repeat it. All right, pretty simple stuff. Now we get to the bridge, which happens very quickly. Um, it's a short little guitar riff. Uh, right before the guitar solo, and that's going to sound like this. Now, to make that top note come out, which it does pretty well on the recording, you might want to hybrid pick it. Um, I just think it sounds better that way. That's going to be picking on the fifth string, and then your middle finger is going to take care of the notes on the fourth string. So you're going to play two on the fifth and fourth uh, fret on the D string. Pick those two together then zero on the A string and two on the D string. Pick those two together and then back to the B chord you just finished playing. And then you repeat that again. All right, simple as that. It's pretty simple, it's a quick little riff. And now we get to the, uh, the rhythm guitar part that's gonna be going on underneath the guitar solo. Uh, that's gonna sound like this. So that just starts with the open E this time. Then goes to the D B power chord. Then real quickly and kind of palm muted, we're going to have the open sixth string and um, then the third fret on the sixth string. To the A power chord twice, down to the E power chord once. Now coming out of the solo, when I said la 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 la, that little part, it goes. It's just B to A, and they they kill it, and then he does it again. Okay, so out of that we go back into the chorus riff. Uh, so that same little. And now we have a little extended part of the chorus. It's the only time they do it in the song. And it goes like this. Now that's just going to be the B power chord. And then play two to four on the sixth string. And then open E power chord. And just repeat that over and over again. You repeat it four times. Okay? So after that part, it goes back to the chorus underneath the outro guitar solo. And that just kind of closes out the song on a B power chord. Okay? So these are some pretty tight rhythms. Uh, it's kind of standard ACDC rhythm stuff that they're simple, but the whole thing about them is really getting them very tight and getting them um, really punchy sounding, and that's kind of what gives them their sound, okay? So uh, stay tuned. Next, we're going to take a look at the guitar solo. It's going to be a lot of fun. See you there.